Hey guys, what is going on? My name is Michael and welcome to another video of the 30 day video upload challenge right here. Today I want to be talking about how Facebook pixels work because that's a question a lot of people are asking me um, and how this is essential to your business if you want to do Facebook ads, if you want to run Facebook ads to get more traffic to your site and make more money, right? So as part of the challenge, I'm giving away my two millionaire course, my Insta Glory course, and a lifetime access version of Video Sniper Pro. If you want to know the terms and conditions for this giveaway, be sure to click the link in the description. It will take you to a playlist where you can see all the videos of the challenge and scroll down to the very first one and watch all of the videos through to actually get what this is all about. Okay. So yeah, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Facebook, Facebook pixels, and um, be sure to check it out. I'm sure you love it. And let's get it started. Okay, so what a Facebook pixel basically is, it's basically just a snippet of code, a little piece of code that you can put on your website. And what happens is Facebook will actually track each and every visitor that comes to that site, right? And you can see all of that, like you can create custom audiences in your Facebook ads manager based on this pixel, right? So for example, if you have like a drop shipping store or whatever, you can put a pixel you can put a pixel on each and every page that you have like for each and every product and you cr can create a specific audience for each and every product page right so you can later on on facebook send ads only to the people that you want to actually target right or you can put a uh you can create an audience just for your checkout page so you can later on only target the people on facebook that actually went to the checkout page and the reason for that is is for you to be able to actually reduce your ad cost, right? So there's, because there's a difference if you send people, if you send an ad to people who been to your page, um, I mean, your actual website, you, you're gonna pay more for ads than if you just target people who went to the checkout page for specific offers, right? Because these people are more, the, the involvement of these people is higher because they actually did something on your site and didn't just come to your site and then dropped off. You know, so that's kind of like the purpose of the whole pixel thing is just for retargeting, right? And retargeting is one of the most effective things to do on Facebook, especially if you're starting out. Because as you might know, um, when it comes to like, for example, drop shipping, you shouldn't start out by getting cold traffic through Facebook, but you should be starting out by paying influencers on Instagram, for example, get them to your site because that's so cheap and then retarget them with Facebook ads, right? If you're interested in that, go to my, in, in, in learning how to do that exactly, go back on my channel, um, just search through the videos and you will find this or just type in Michael Kohler dropshipping or something. Uh, you will find a video where I explain exactly how to do this with the whole influencer marketing and, and stuff like this, okay? And so I will show you in this video how to set up the Facebook ads pixel thing real quick and um, so you understand how to do this really easy I get I get a lot of questions people ask me oh I don't know how to do this I can't code and stuff you don't need anything you don't need a code or anything like that okay so uh, let me show you how to do this right now okay guys before you actually want to install the uh, Facebook pixel I want you to um, download a plugin or extension for Google Chrome um, that's called, I think they also have it for Firefox, but it's called Facebook Pixel Helper, right? And you should install that in your Chrome or Firefox browser, or whatever, and it will show you if your um, Pixel is correctly installed on that page, right? Because without something like this, you don't really know if it actually works. Because when you go on your page then, and you look at here and it shows like a number, like one or two, right? And with a green symbol and stuff, you can actually see that the uh, pixel is installed successfully. So that's the first thing you should do. It's really easy. Go to Google, type in Facebook pixel helper, and then you can just install it, right? Um, then what you wanna do is you wanna go to your Facebook ads manager. You wanna go to the uh, search box right here and you type in pixel, right? That's all you do. Type in pixel, click enter. And it will simply take you to the whole pixel section to uh, where it shows you um, your pixel ID and it will give you the code that you put on your site. So for example, right here, my pixel ID 
is um, this one right here. And if I wanted to put it on my site right now, all I would have to do is I would go here, click details, and then I will go right here to uh, set up and then I can choose um, what I want to use, right? Use an integration or tag manager, manual install the code yourself, email instructions to developer, okay? So if you have a developer, which most of you guys probably don't have, you could like send it, send an email to him and he will do it for you. Um, when you click manually install the code, because that's what you usually should do because it's pretty easy, um, all you have to do is you copy that code right here, you copy that code, and if you're using Shopify or whatever kind of store thing that you have, most likely there's already some, uh, in, in where you edit like your page, there's something that tells you Facebook ads code or something, or Facebook pixel ID. I'm not sure what right now how it works in Shopify, but you do that, you copy that and copy it in there, and that's all you have to do, right? Then you publish your page and that's it, right? So you either copy that code or that pixel ID and just put it in there, right? If you have a WordPress site, all you have to do is, as they explain right here, you go you go to the uh, header file, header PHP, you go in there and pass the code right here before the closing head tag, right? So that's also pretty easy to do. Um, that's basically how you install the code. Once that is done, you should go back to your page and check if the code is actually installed successfully. And once that happens, you can wait a little bit until it actually um, gathered some gathered some visitors on the side. And then what you wanna do is um, create custom audience, right? So here you can see, you can create audiences based on like wherever your pixel is installed. So if you have, for example, you gotta be careful with this right here. If you have your pixel installed on multiple pages and you can, when you just create an audience based on all website visitors, of course it will just create an audience with all of these users, but that's never what you wanna do, right? You wanna target um, specific people um, who visited specific pages. So you wanna select people who visited specific web pages, right? And then you can just copy and paste the URL that you want to use. Like for example, if I wanted to use like only, if I wanted to only track the people who actually visited this front page right here, tubemillionaire.co, um, I would actually copy and paste it in there and select equals, right? Not contains because if I uh, select contains, it also um, includes all of these sub pages like tubemillionaire slash sign up or tubemillionaire slash checkout or whatever, right? You want to create uh, different audiences for each and every different page that you have uh, on your website, right? So after this is done, you just name it and then create audience, right? That's real simple um, to do. And later on, you can create ads for these audiences, right? So that's basically it for today. Hope you liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe and see you in the next one.